dear students in this lecture we are going to see about the overlapping genes these overlapping genes play a major role there in the viruses to encode the various possible proteins in the previous video lectures are all we have seen a lot of points related to non overlapping genes that is in most of the genes that have been present in the living organisms are non overlapping in nature whereas some organisms found to possess overlapping genes so what are overlapping genes they are two adjacent dna fragment that are partially or entirely overlapped with each other through a shared genomic location so these genes could be commonly present there in the certain prokaryotic organism viruses as well as the eukaryotic genomes so this is simple definition overlapping genes are dual coding genes utilize two different reading frames or initiation codons for encoding more than one protein in an organism since both coding that is sense strand and non coding that is anti sense strands are all utilized during the transcription overlapping genes can originate from the overlapping of the two genes on the same strand or from the opposite strand also the next point the development of overlapping genes may involve extension of an open reading frame which may be resulted from the start or stop codon substitution or elimination of start or a stop codon which usually happens due to deletion or frame shift mutations we look at on some more points related to the overlapping genes although it's generally understood that one gene encodes one polypeptide and the genes evolutionary constraints commonly imposed to go for more than one protein encoded in a given region of the sequence so here comes the role of this overlapping genes so it's also called as a overlapping coding regions generally they occur where the genome size of an organism is small and it needs for a greater information to be stored there in that particular genome a very classical example for presence of this overlapping genes is the phage the example of the phage has been shown there using the overlapping gene concept this phage this kind of a bacteriophage which can be able to make 11 protein of a combined molecular mass of 262 kilo dalton from a 5386 base pair genome for example if this particular bacteriophage is not going to use the overlapping way of reading their genome then that particular genome will only code for 200 kilo dalton of protein you look at here the diagram of the overlapping genes so a single gene fragment has been read in two different ways that has been represented there in the diagram as a gene a and gene b finally a definition for the overlapping genes has been provided there in the downside of this slide it refers to an mrna sequence read in an overlapping manner at different start that is the aug codon will give rise to different reading frames that possess distinct amino acids composition compared to that of the one read in a non overlapping way the next part of this lecture is related to hubble hypothesis Which is again a seven or ten more question there in the semester examination. The literal meaning for Hubble is unsteady. So this kind of a unsteady nature is there associated there with the base pairing. Hubble condition of the base pairing was suggested by Creek now to explain the redundancy of genetic code that have been existing. Here the redundancy meaning for a twenty amino acid more than sixty four different kinds of genetic codes have been existing. so why this much numbers of genetic code has been present for that a explanation was provided in the form of hubble hypothesis in the genetic code as per certain mathematical calculations we have already seen the four bases that is a u g c has been present in a three possible combinational ways that results in the formation of 64 possible codons for the process of translation each of these codons that have been present in the mrna requires a trna molecule trna is not required for the stop codon that interacts with the complementary anti codon 
that is a codon anti codon interaction will be taking place so if each trna molecule paired with this complementary mrna codon using a watson crick base pairing rule at least 61 types of trna molecule will be required during the process of protein synthesis that is we have excluded the three codons that is top codon which is generally do not require a trna molecule however in nature most of the organism found to have only 45 species of trna are lesser than that only now the question arises that now the question arises that how only 45 species of trna itself have been involved there for the entire process of the protein synthesis the reason is simple some trna molecule must be pairing with more than one codon there comes the role of the hubble's hypothesis so crick proposed a model to explain his hypothesis as per this model the trna's 5 prime anti codon base was able to undergo more movement or highly flexible or wobbly than the other two bases in pairing with the 3 prime codon of the mrna and thus this could result in formation of a non standard base pairing if you look at the diagram you can able to understand the non standard base pairing so a leucine trna is just identifying the right codon first that is referred as a normal base pairing the non standard base pairing is shown there in the right hand side you look at the change there in the hubble position which is pairing with a different codon which is not of a standard codon for a leucine thus the 5 dash anti codon that is in the first position in the trna and the 3 prime or 3 dash codon that is in the third position in the mrna can undergo a non standard base pairing that is a hubble's base pairing even a few trna molecules are capable of recognizing more than one codon finally once again we look at the definition there for the hubble hypothesis the non standard base pairs that can form between the modified 5 dash anti codon end that is in the trna molecule and the 3 dash codon that is in the mrna molecule thus it is a less rigid form of a base pairing that may be allowed only in a codon anti codon pairing during the process of protein synthesis presence of a hubble position there in the trna molecule that is at the 5 dash end of the anti codon of trna molecule reduces the number of necessary trnas required in a cell from a 64 to 45 for example a two cases has been narrated here one is the leucine related hubble bases on their respective mrna recognition and another one is the glycine related hubble bases on their respective trna recognition say for example first we look at the leucine so in the trna molecule that is at the 5 prime end of the anti codon you can able to have a c a g u and i say for example c of the anti codon can able to recognize g of the mrna's codon this is a normal kind of a base pairing whereas you look at the point there in the end if a inosine a modified form of a nitrogenous base is present there in the 5 dash anti codon end it can able to recognize c a and u that are all present there in the mrna so this kind of a leniency allowed there in the base pairing is referred as a hubble's base pairing